Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Hydroneer Logic video. So here we are guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about timers. So I've managed to come up with a few sort of contraptions, which is kind of cool. So your generic basic timer is really, really simple to set up. Now this sort of timer will just keep ticking until it reaches a full load of nines. This one's not really used for anything. It's just a, a basic sort of setup for me to show. This is basically the basics of any sort of builds you will do with timers. And it's really quite simple to do. All you need is an A and B plus T piece and you just need a repeater. So all it as you know the repeater when places down outputs a logic value of one every second so that will output a one it will do a loop round and you'll have a one coming in and a one coming in there which will make it two so two goes round and then it adds the one from the repeater and so forth and that's just a simple timer i say timer but this one's more of a counter we'll get to the timing aspect very shortly so over here guys we have a self resetting timer so i've got mine set to 20 seconds and as you can see, once the timer reaches 20, now as you can see, when the timer reaches 20, it will reset back to zero, like so, and it will restart itself again. Now this one is a little bit more complicated to build, but nonetheless, it is pretty simple once you get your head around it. So we've got our basic loop that we saw at the start. You've got your A plus B, and that just loops around like, this so this one here is an a is greater than or equals to b the reason why it's upside down is because i need the a side to come from my feed and my keypad to go in the b side that's the only reason why it's flipped round and you can't see it so i thought i'd just show you that now this is where the self reset comes into play so we've got our standard loop here and then we've got a little bypass right here and then what we have is just simple bit of cable with a logic valve hook now these logic valve hooks i will do a more in-depth guide on all of the hooks available in the hydroneer but this one here can be used to turn off either logic cables or water pipes so it's a very handy bit of kit when you're doing logic builds now right here we have a logic flip hook which turns an incoming logic of zero into one and anything bigger or equal to one to zero now this is a key part of getting it to retest itself now I'm still in the process of trying to figure out a way to sort of do this so at the moment this is staying on for 20 seconds it will then turn off then turn straight back on for another 20 seconds. I'm trying to figure out a way for it to for it to stay on for x amount of time and then turn off for x amount of time and then turn back on again. But I'm still in the process of playing around and figuring that one out so bear with me and i will do an updated video once i figure out a way to do it now is the time for me to showcase how to put this sort of timer into a build so basically we can incorporate it into a build to activate an auto smelter instead of in my previous video where i used the weight readers to activate a smelter and reset it we can use a timer like so and what we can also do with this build as well is we can set it so when the auto smelter is activated it will also turn off the conveyor belts here to stop the resources going in now this system on its own is fine for smaller builds where you haven't got a lot of resources flowing through it's not reliable to just have the shut off valve to stop the conveyor belts with a bigger build when you've got more resources flowing through I would recommend incorporating a magnet into this as well, which would be pretty simple. You would just kind of T piece off here, up to magnet up to the top, just to help slightly with the loss of resources. Now this one looks a little bit different to that one over there, just because this is a bit more compact. I made that one a bit bigger, just so it's easier for you guys to follow. So we've got our simple loop here that we had before over there. And then coming out of that, into the back of the smelter we have this and then we have a flip hook as well now if you don't have the flip hook in here the auto smelter will stay in the open position instead of in the off position so it's just activated and i would just show you now that when i take this off it will just stay in the open position and then when the timer goes off it will go in the closed position which is no good so if yours isn't working for whatever reason, this is probably why. Now to activate any logic valve to turn off some pipes like so. So we can either incorporate it with an auto smelter or if we just got rid of the auto smelter completely, if you just wanted a timer for your conveyor belts, for instance, 
this is a simple and easy way to do it. So basically we use the same concept as we have here with the A is greater than or equals to B and the keypad. Now the reason why we have an A is greater than or equals to B right here is so we can add a delay on when the valve opens back up. If we didn't have this here, this conveyor belt would stop and then reopen immediately, which defeats the object of keeping the resources from going into the smelter. So I've put a nice little five second delay on, which is pretty much around the right time for that there. So you gotta make sure you have the A is greater than or equal to B, and then you set that at five. Now if we wait for the timer to go off like it has there, so as you can see when I get up here, we have our, our conveyor belts moving as you can see and then when this timer reaches 20, we will see the smelter open and this front conveyor belt will stop for 5 seconds. So it's just switched off and it will stay off and then come back on after 5 seconds. So this is how you set a timer onto your valve hooks right there. Now you can also use this with the gem compressor as well, it's not just for the smelter. So just bear that in mind that you can also use this setup for the gem compressor as well. So there we are, a nice little video about timers and how to incorporate them into builds to make machines all automated. Now if you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you have any questions or any queries about timers or how to set them up or anything like that, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below. I will do my best to help you all. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.